Hey everybody, welcome back to another Drummer's Commentary, the series where I watch drum performances and react to them, try to break them down for you, and it's just overall a great fun time. Now, be warned, this is not just a formal react video. I'm not just gonna watch this video and make faces. When I feel it's appropriate and when I can, I'm gonna pause the video, try to maybe break the song down, talk about the drummer, the hardware, the technique, anything I can sort of analyze, I will for you, but in a digestible manner. So not a react video, not a drum lesson, somewhere in between for you folks who want to learn a bit more about drumming. Now I am really excited for today's video because I don't know this drummer at all. I've never seen him perform live, I've never seen a video of him, and I don't know his band all too well either. Uh, the band is Sepultura, I believe they're from Brazil. His name is Eloy Casagrande, I'll leave my pronunciation at that, I won't attempt Portuguese or anything like that. Um, but uh, he also has a YouTube channel, I took this from his YouTube channel, so please, please go Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. I will link both his channel and the video down below. And uh, thank you for providing us with an awesome video to analyze and react to. And without further ado, let's watch. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's. <laughs> What a starter. Okay, right away. Let's. I'm sure he's going to play this a bit more, but just look at the pattern, how awesome that is. He's got a couple of um, uh, stacks in front of him, about this height. If you, sorry, about this height. And uh, I think he's got another one. I haven't seen much of his kit yet, but like a small kit for a metal band. And uh, already just opening the song with a killer pattern. <laughs> What a sick battle. So cool. So not, I don't want to say easy, okay, because the comments are going to just kill me. It's not hard. You just have to learn it. I don't know it. I'm not going to attempt to mimic it or do my usual. But um, it, it mostly single sticking, it looks. And what's really, really interesting about this is the accents. It's, you know, on the, the up, it's on upbeats and on like second, uh, 16th notes, like to go to go back, stuff like that. That's really cool. I can like, I don't want to say I feel like a Latin vibe, but I feel like, you know, this is not just typical American metal. There's definitely something different here that's really interesting to listen to. Let's keep watching. <laughs> Oh, what a heavy hitter. Here it comes again. Oh. Oh, another time. Another high. So, wow, man. That's where to... This is... Right away, this is sick drumming because... You know, he could have done anything else. The usual like do do bat do do bat do that we're all used to playing, but like this is a super creative beat. It reminds me of the Mars Volta almost, where it's you know you're you're playing and you're like, okay, how can I how can I just add something different without it you know necessarily being too kind of like you know almost Mangini like where you're just playing you know adding stuff to add stuff where it almost becomes robotic and and less musical. Like this groove works so well, you know, for half of that first verse, and then he's like. Eh, fuck it. Let's hit a crash and just go hi hat. And look how hard he's hitting and just straight to the point. Like so far, I love this. stop at the end of every section this is sick drumming this is something we've never looked at before on this channel or on drummers commentary like if you saw the garen the, the gavin harrison video smooth playing serving the song like i said easy fills not hitting hard and this guy is the complete opposite and it's just as cool 
heavy hitter, but I'm sure he never breaks, you know, symbols or skins or anything like that because he has amazing technique. This is what a heavy hitter with good technique looks like. He plays with uh, pasty symbols, which are usually I find thicker than like Sabians or most Zildjians. And like, it's a good thing he plays on those symbols because he hits super hard, but like in a metal band like that one, it's kind of what you need. <laughs> Physical, awesome. Yeah, ooh, double pedal. I play with the same shoes. Great drumming shoes, by the way. Oh, nice. Other stack. I hadn't seen that. See that? That was sick. Look, I want you to go and rewatch that and see how insane that was on the snare. It's probably not super complicated, like a couple of rolls or something, but like this is this is aggressive drumming at its best. This is insane. I'm a fan of this band now. Instantly. That's a really cool um, little accent uh, that's on the second 16th note. Like I said earlier, uh, you know, he could have just gone doom pants, doom pants, doom pants, doom pants, like that. But he goes doom pants, get to go back, doom pants, doom pants, doom pants, doom pants. It's really cool. It adds like that kind of like syncopation uh, that you usually don't find in like straight up metal like this. This is really cool drumming. Have I said that already? So I don't know if this is on purpose, but some drummers like to do this. Um, if you look at that um, on our side, left crash for him on the right side, there's no uh, little butterfly uh, screw and there's no washer. Some drummers will do this on their rides or on certain cymbals for different reasons. Like sometimes you want that cymbal to wash more, so you'll take that off. Uh, some people just don't like having them around because you know it, it gives more um, sort of wobble or whatever to the cymbal. Personally, I always use them, but in this case, you, it, I don't think it's, it might be on purpose. I'm really not sure, but you can see that all the other symbols have those little wing nuts and then that one doesn't. It might be, as I said, probably because he wants to crash on it really hard. He wants it to rebound a bit more and that top nut is uh, holding the symbol back. Also, something I noticed that I just noticed is that his main rack tom doesn't have a bottom skin. Um, that's usually, uh, you'll find that in concert toms, usually like in orchestras or phil collins famously used to play without uh, those bottom skins i believe he probably had uh, those drums made without you know the the bottom uh, lug nuts and and hardware and all that um and that's really just to add more punch more accent less uh, resonance because the bottom skin is a resonant skin uh, to that tom so it really adds a lot more punch and i think the other toms have them but for that one he's like nah screw it i just want like to hit that punches and adds uh, just a lot more attack to that particular instrument. Man, I'm just amazed at how sick this performance, this hardware, and this drummer is. Let's keep watching and finish this video. Yeah, having a blast right there. Awesome double pedal technique. Look at the snare, look at the snare. I hope you see that? 
see the stick sort of you see the stick sort of rebounding a little bit. That's like a bit of molar technique on the snare. He's just doing these little ghost notes. This, this guy's a really technical drummer, man. That's that's awesome. <laughs> I keep interrupting, but there's so much to talk about. On this is uh, like this is one of the best drum performances I've ever seen. A normal metal drummer would go and just okay, you need double pedal, fine. I'll go doo doo back a doo 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 back a doo 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 back a doo doo. Look at the bass drum. He is he's leaving space for the snare, so probably going in doo doo back back and it's kind of hard to explain without playing it, but just look at the snare and how uh, not the snare but the bass drum. How he's playing a pattern. He's not just playing like. 60 well probably eighth notes in this case but like this is so cool like this is so much talent right there and i love when a drummer pays attention to his feet and to what's played on his feet as much as he plays with his hands and like like i said normal drummer would have went doo -doo 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 but this guy is playing something different just a light little touch that makes this song and this performance absolutely insane <laughs> Is that it? Oh man, wow. Dude, I am impressed. Please, please go check out his channel, the band, the song. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of thing, you can subscribe. I do other kinds of videos as well. Whew, I'm gonna go listen to a whole bunch of Sepultura now, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.